Hey MGTOES, this is Vention. I'm going to use my new high-tech camera stand. Yeah! You know that's the awesome thing about owning the place where you live. <laughs> you can stick thumbtacks in the wall. Um, news. Um, I don't obviously script these things, so I just wanted to, uh, to say that uh, this no wheat and no sugar diet that I've been on for about four months now, I mean, that's it's not really a diet. You know, a diet is something you do for a while and then you go back to your old ways. But um, I cannot, I can't go back because <laughs> I felt like friggin' crap before. I really, really was feeling freaking horrible. I was uh, tired. I was so freaking tired. And my energy level would just go the freak of fuck away, you know. Uh, but now, geez. Uh, I mean, within three days of changing my diet, my energy just came roaring back. Uh, I can work in the yard all, a lot. I can work all day at work. And, Sure, I'm tired at the end of the day, but that's a freaking hard job. <laughs> you know, you're physically holding heavy-ass tools and shit. Uh, so, yeah, you get tired. Plus, my feet get kind of sore. But now, after four months, I have lost 19 pounds. Um, the weight is just slowly drifting away, slowly coming off. I was, uh, I think I was like two... 28, I think. What was it? 218. I can't remember. Well, anyway, I, it works out to 19 pounds. <clears throat> um, harvests are still coming in. I got nice cherry tomatoes. Uh, I've got, uh, man, the, ch the cherry tomato plants are really kicking out. And, dudes, they are freaking tasty. They're so sweet. And, uh, not a blemish on them. Um, oftentimes, uh, oftentimes, uh, tomatoes and other types of produce they get um, they get blemishes and water spots and whatnot because people because people water them and then that encourages mold and fungus and all kinds of crap, right? Um, and plus the chlorinated fluoridated city water that we have. Uh, it's not very good for us, and it's not very good for the plants, and you can tell the difference. Uh, when it rains, the plants really, uh, really sprint, but if you water them with municipal water, not much happens. <laughs> um, so anyway, I've just designed these gardens to produce with zero water, even in August. I mean, they kind of look scraggly here and there, uh, except for the tomatoes. Uh, but basically, they are kicking out good produce. You know, these are some Roma tomatoes that I planted. I should have trellised them better because a lot of them are sitting on top of the mulch and uh, slugs are starting to get at them. But uh, and they wait till it's ripe. So <laughs> I'll just I'll just beat the slugs. That's all. Um, I'm almost at the last of the plums. I'm still in the process of dehydrating. I'm going to be making fruit leather out of them this time. And I'm going to be having tasty treats all the way into next year. Um, I like to throw them through the blender. I'm going to throw them through the blender, put them in the dehydrator, and uh, put. I'm going to put some Splenda on them because I will not have sugar. No friggin' way. Um, that shit is just toxic. It's killing the entire nation. I mean, it's really limiting our lifespan, and it's making your average ugly-ass feminist even uglier. <laughs> um, and basically, um, yeah, it's just killing us. And oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to put sugar and cinnamon, not sugar, Splenda and cinnamon in them, and then uh, make fruit leather. That's going to be cool. Um, there's been a couple of interesting uh, Sandman videos lately, and I've just got to chime in. Uh, the other day he was making a video on, uh, on uh, the uh, women against feminism, and I'm going to have to put my, I'm going to have to come down on his side on this, uh, because the more it is cool to question feminism, 
the better. I mean, you know, and I know, that a lot of feminists and whatnot, they're trying to sow, and like trolls and whatnot, they're trying to sow division in the men's rights groups, the MIGTO and MRA, and they, and they're, sometimes they, it, they do a pretty good job, like they do a racially inflammatory crap, and, uh, and it just splits people. And then, of course, there's this big thing about homosexuals and uh, letting homosexuals into the MRA, they were saying, and, and, uh, and basically they just wanted to split the movement. Um, so what I'm thinking is that, uh, that we should be M men first, big toes or MRAs, and then anything else. Uh, and then, of course, today, uh, Sandman came out with an interesting video about how, uh, um, how uh, racial, I don't know what they call it, what he called it, racial realists or something, um, how, whether or not we should interact with them in our videos. But I, I am of the opinion that we should leave that out of it, you know. If a, uh, white supremacist or a black supremacist or whatever wants to be um, an, an MRA or a MIGTO, I'm perfectly okay with that. That's great. But they got to leave their, uh, their other uh, mission <laughs> uh, wherever they came from. You know, if they want to do that on their website, that's fine, you know. Uh, but they can't bring that to my site because I'm, to my uh, YouTube page because I'll just just delete the comment uh, and then of course their subs will probably suffer because uh, I mean they'll probably have fewer subs because most people really don't want to watch a bunch of racially inflammatory shit you know it just you know kind of makes you unhappy and there's not much you can do about it you know you just you just roll with it you know um, so basically, I prefer to just be a MIGTO, you know, and uh, leave the racial stuff out of it. Uh, Sandman was also pointing out an awesome new uh, MIGTO, a very young guy. I think his name is George Freeman, I think. But uh, I'll leave a link. Uh, that is a good, good young MRA. I mean, a good young MIGTO. I sure wish I had his insights when I was his age, man, that would have made high school so much less painful. Junior high, I mean, once I got into high school, it wasn't too bad. But, uh, but man, junior high sucked. And then, of course, uh, there was this big thing back in the 80s where, oh, in order to get women, you have to be sensitive and caring and kind and helpful. And, oh, yeah, that that won't get you anywhere man <laughs> and I would have been able I mean if I had any of the resources that we have now online I would have been able to to just basically realize how much bullshit that was and uh, and just uh, go with it you know and 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 I would have been a little more successful in dating and I wasn't a total non-success in the dating department but, uh, but I uh, just, um, I could have done better. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, I envy George for his, uh, his, the fact that he has become a MIGTO at such a young age. That's just awesome. That will really smooth his life out. Uh, and then of course, if there's nothing wrong with dating, if you want, if you're a MIGTO, you, basically the only thing that a MIGTO doesn't do is get married or have kids, you know, uh, uh, or if he does have kids, man, he has to be careful about it. <laughs> um, there is another uh, MIGTO who uh, has just not even close to the amount of su subscribers that he deserves. Uh, he just made a video uh, about some of the insane crazy just garbage he went through and is going through um, in his uh, divorce and all and the family court and all that he's from Australia and he goes by the name of Universal Studios and I 
If you don't subscribe to them, I highly recommend that you at least watch this one video. I'm going to go ahead and link to it. Uh, I'm still on, so, yeah. I'm still on Graveyard, and man, it takes out the energy. Here I'm on the weekend. This is my friggin' weekend. And I woke up at like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> so, uh, man, I believe next month I have a shot at getting off of a graveyard. And man, I'm going to have to probably commute an extra 45 minutes to an hour every single day. That's driving all that time, burning up my gas and wear and tear on the car. But when I do get home, when I work day shift, I have got a lot more energy. Uh, a lot more energy to do a lot of the things that I really need to do. Um, whereas, if you're on graveyard, man, I just start, I just start getting so freaking blah, you know, so freaking tired. And, uh, and then, of course, your time, you know, unless you want to just rip your schedule apart and uh, try to function on the on your weekend during day shift, you basically only get maybe one good day. Uh, and other than that, it's like, you know, you're just either that or you're just stuck being awake at night like I was today. Um, a lot of things I can do and, I, you know, I did my laundry, did a few other things, cleaned a little bit here and there, but uh, can't go out trimming trees when it's uh, when it's three in the morning. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's the washing machine and spin cycle. Um, so let me think. I guess that it's about it. Yeah, Universal Studios. Highly recommend you check that guy out. Uh, and I'm gonna. Oh man, it's starting to become a little bit light out there. Yeah. Not too bad. I love it here. Here's my crazy producing tomato plants. <laughs> squash over there, squash over there. I'm going to load. There's two more squashes. Tomatoes on the other side. Yeah, it's producing very well. Yeah, good times. Well, I guess I got, I'll let you guys go. Just wanted to check in. Guess I better upload this. <laughs> you guys have a good one.